Hi, today I'm going to show you how to answer question 5 from a uh, triple physics unit 1 paper. Uh, this one though is also on the double award, so it's useful for anybody following that route as well. It's a question about um, current and electric circuits, and the first thing it wants us to do is to draw a graph. So it wants us to plot this data up here onto this axis. Now to save time for the video, you don't really want to see me doing that, I've plotted this one already. Notice how I've put my points nicely in a straight line and therefore drawn a nice straight line through it, okay? Then it asks us to describe how the current through the lamp, so that's the curve. Be careful, you've just drawn the resistor in, the curve of the lamp. So I'm gonna say that as uh, voltage increases, so does current. Now that's what most people will say, and they'll score one mark for that. In order to score the second mark, you need to say something about the fact it's a curve um, by a decreasing amount. Okay, and that will score you the second mark on the end of this question. So we flip over. Uh, they do a different, a slightly different bit of experiment here. They've drawn a diagram for this. So you can see that now these two components are connected in parallel with each other. And it wants us to use the graph and an equation from page two. So that's gonna be resistance is equal to voltage divided by current. Okay, but we need the graph to tell us what the current will be at three volts. So the lamp at three volts, I go up and then I go across and that's here. And that's gonna be 0.85. Okay, flip over again. 3 volts over 0.85 into the calculator that goes and it tells me it's 3.53 be careful of your rounding so that goes on the answer line there okay next calculate the ammeter reading now this one's a little bit tricky because the ammeter is going to have the current through the lamp and the current through the resistor so there's a couple of ways that you can do this if we flip over i'll show you the simplest at um still at 3 volts so i can read off the current in the fixed resistor which is 0.6 this axis here okay and through the lamp which is 0.85 so that's going to be 0.6 plus 0.85 that's going to equal 1.45 calculate the total resistance again a couple of ways of doing this but if we follow the same pattern as before, if I take my total current, I can pop it in. So the three for the voltage, 1.45. Again, into the calculator, out comes 2.07. So in the next part, it wants us to explain how the whole circuit has a lower resistance um, when we have two components in it. So what we're going to say on this one is that the current has increased. So, um, sorry, because there are two paths for it to take. So it can go through either the lamp or through the resistor. So there's twice as much current essentially. So the voltage supply is increased from zero to six. Explain how the graph shows that the lamp has a bigger resistance. So if we have a look at six volts here, there's two ways we can do this. The easiest, I think, is to talk here about the gradient. So the gradient of the graph is equal to the inverse, the opposite of the resistance. So we can say here that the, um, the graph for the lamp has uh, a lower gradient and this is our second mark the gradient is one over resistance use the graph and without calculations but giving clear reasoning compare the power of these two things so we'll come back to here so I'm going to use an equation, but I'm not actually going to do the calculation. So can you see here how the current through the resistor is higher 
then through the lamp. So I'm going to say that uh, power is equal to current times voltage. So the resistor um, has a higher power because the graph shows a higher current for the same six volts. Okay, quite a long question that one. Uh, some tricky skills within it, but if you break them down, reasonably answerable I think as well. I hope that's been helpful today.